Welcome to BCH Technologies. Today is the first part. We're trying to fix this printer, which claims the printhead is missing. We're going to take the printhead out and reinsert it, just in case it's something simple as a connection problem. We found probably the previous owner already worked on this and uh, there are two uh, springs to secure the printhead on the base it has been removed. But when we talk to the owner, and uh, here's a screw, uh, but when we talk to the owner, uh, he says nobody has working on it. So uh, it's, kind of, it's kind of a mystery why those two screws are loose and not those two springs. So without those two springs, it's very easy to lift up the printhead and then disconnect the electronic cables underneath. You can see there are two air tubes and there are two uh, cables to disconnect. Just pull them out. We can see the printhead is uh, severely clogged. And uh, on the white cable, uh, there are some uh, uh, red smudges. So um, I really suspect somebody has been working on it. So we we'll put some protective film on. And this is special film um, is uh, designed for the printhead. Uh, so I protect printhead from scratching. At home, you can use a saran wrap to do the same thing. Now we use a precision tool to remove the, uh, the screws from the electronic board. Uh, we're going to just open it up and uh, take a quick look, see if uh, there's some uh, dried ink in it, or maybe the print has, has been flooded with something, and we can see something uh, right away. I got this set from eBay for like uh, $12 uh, free shipping. Uh, we're going to use a T10 and a T6. They look pretty clean inside, and uh, just in case, I'm going to clean the brass plates.
Okay, now we have to deal with uh, two springs, two tubes, and two cables. To make things easier, we're going to take the, the top of the printhead off. It is much easier to put this part in than the whole unit. So the first thing we do is attach the bottom of the spring to the base. Then we're going to want the tube go through the spring, so give uh, uh, so give more st stability. Yeah, take a closer look here. So the tubes go through the bottom hoop of the spring. So after you install, you can just pull the, the spring up and attach to the print head. And then we're going to flip the print head upside down and uh, connect two big cables and uh, one little big little cable. and then the tubes So we use a pair of pliers to pull the string up and then attach to the print head. And then we put the cover back. So it seems uh, simply taking the print head out and uh, put it back in didn't fix the print head's missing problem. And uh, we're going to keep troubleshooting in the next part. So at least at this part, we'll show you how to take the print head out and uh, how to put it in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at bchtechnologies.com or locally at uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. Thank you. Have a good day.